this example, John Brown Proprietary Limited or JV Proprietary Limited is an example of audit planning to help you see how the whole process works. I've got some information here for you and this Word file can be found in your Interact site so that you can read it at your own leisure. And I suggest you read it before we go through this exercise. We've got John Brown, um, a printer, who started out on his own with his wife as a shareholder, um, doing the printing in a rented garage with only one printing press. John Brown is not particularly financially cluey. His skills are in the printing industry and his skills as a salesman. He found a particular market a few years ago um, and to exploit that market he needed to expand and so sold some of the issued capital to a business contact. The additional funds helped expand the um, printing business and um, the business has been making since then quite good sales and profits though the majority of the funds have gone back into the business. The company has a PC to help in costing and stock control, but neither Johnson nor Brown are comfortable with its operation um, and the accounting system is relatively unsophisticated um, with a um, wife as the bookkeeper and uh, a sole practitioner preparing the statutory accounts. The relationship between the two owners, Brown and Johnson, has never been easy and it's become particularly difficult at the moment as the, um, as the current market is disappearing and Johnson doesn't have any new ideas, neither does Brown. So let's see what we need to do about assessing the risks of this business. Well, you will have probably worked out that there are some quite difficult business risks here. Um, quite significant business risks as the primary market is disappearing. What we need to, to consider is how this is going to affect the accounts and how this is going to affect our audit. Um, we'll need to pay particular attention to the ability of the company to continue as a going concern. So this would probably mean that we'll be assessing inherent risk as high. There are some issues with control risk as well that we've found from this simple um, introduction to the client. The whole of the bookkeeping system is done by one person, so there's limited controls over the system. We've also got um, the existing directors and um, employees don't seem to know very much about the accounting system. So that again um, suggests that there are internal control problems. And um, th they don't really understand the system. So we've got poor accounting knowledge no segregation of duties and a new system that people don't understand. So that um, if any errors happen, they're likely um, to not be fixed up properly. Um, and it's, it's likely that we will find errors as part of our audit. So the control risk will need to be assessed as high. We now need to consider some aspects of um, materiality. So let's have a look at a spreadsheet which will provide us with some more information about risks and materiality. So here we have a spreadsheet and again you will find this on your um, Interact site for the um, financial statement extracts for the last five years for this particular company or business, proprietary business. So we've got the sales figures, the gross profit, the net profit before tax. Um, then we've got a summary balance sheet um, with um, capital reserves, current liabilities, non-current liabilities, current assets and non-current assets. And we've worked out the net asset figure, which is of course the
the same as the capital and reserves figure. I've started to do some ratio analysis. We've got a gross profit ratio here of, and let's just um, make this a percentage. and a net profit ratio, and again we'll make that a percentage, debt to equity ratio, and the current ratio. Now you see I've used um, formulas to calculate this, and so I can just now, um, my gross profit ratio you can see is gross profit, which is C8 over sales C7. Net profit ratio is C9 over C7, as you can see the formula there. My debt to equity ratio is my total debt, which is um, C16, less the capital and reserves, over my um, capital and reserves. So now I can copy these. across so that we get these for all of the all of the years that we have oops there we go oh I didn't go through the current ratio and obviously if you can see that that's C18 which is current assets over C14 which is current liabilities so that we can see those ratios. Now as we have a look at these ratios, um, we can see that, they're, that the current assets are quite good, um, but the current ratio has been dropping, so they're um, becoming less and less able to cover their current liabilities. Gross profit ratio, still going well, so that they're controlling their costs. Net profit ratio, still quite good. Debt to equity ratio. As you can see, is improving. But it's improving because they're putting a lot more, a lot of the money back into the business. It's they're not actually um, paying off their debt, and that's something that's important to recognise. So they are still quite highly geared. Now let's think about planning materiality. concerned about this business because there are going concern issues and when there are going concern issues the temptation is to set planning materiality at a fairly low level so that you're um, being much more cautious about what you identify as problem areas. And one of the ways to do this is to um, set a rate on turnover of 0.5 of a percent. Businesses or different accounting firms have different measures of planning materiality, but one that's used by a number is to set planning materiality on, say, profit before tax of 5%, turnover of 0.5 of a percent, gross profit is 2%, total assets as 0.5 of a percent, and um, equity as 1%. Um, 
So if we're talking about half a percent on turnover because we've got a, um, a problem with our um, gross with our going concern issues. So let's go 0 0.005 times um, our sales figure. Oops, let's just put a plus sign in here so it knows it's a formula. gives us a planning materiality of 3,785. So we'll probably round that off and um, say our materiality figure was 3,750 and we'd use that to set our planning materiality.